Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and this is episode two where we're going to do an across the grain and against the grain in a pass and a half. All right, this is number 18 of the 30 straight razor challenge, so let's get going. Now, for our soap tonight, what we're using is Stubble Troubles. Yard work. So this smells just like you're outdoors, okay, right after you mowed the grass. That fresh cut grass smell, oh, it's amazing. Now, down in the description, I will go ahead and have the ingredients in the scent profile as well, so you can check it out. And I'll, of course, put a link where. Uh, you can look at it more thoroughly and in depth, and if you'd like to get it, you can. Um, I was, I, I really like these unique, uh, different scents that you don't necessarily see out there all the time. I find it uh, wonderful that uh, the artisans are, you know, doing different things all the time and trying different things, making different scents, and in doing so, we get to really benefit from their labor and what they do. Oh yeah, and definitely looks like I, I did a great job loading this brush. Okay, like I said last night, this is definitely what we gotta, I gotta start working on. I say we, but you know, what I have to start working on is uh, just feeling it. I've got to feel when that brush is loaded and ready to go, which I'm, I think I got it again tonight really well. All right, so now I, this is going to be straight up over my neck and my jawline, and that will be across the grain on my neck. Okay, nice. All right, time to switch hands. Get that razor clean. Now, uh, as I'm cleaning this razor, okay, uh, 
I never get this hinge pin, this right area here, or the scales wet. I'm only getting down here wet because I don't want that to get wet in there because it could rust. All right. Okay. Now on my face again, this is really against the grain. Where my neck, that was across the grain. Okay, nice. Okay. Getting there. So you guys been having good shaves? Tell me about your shaves. Yeah. Are you having good ones? How's it going? How's it work for that matter? You know, it's work good? Or whatever it is you do. Retirement? Nice.
Okay. All right, may have got another bump there. Okay, and I hit that scar as well. Well, guys, it happens. You know, no big deal. It'll all be good. There's that. Try not to surgically remove that, right? All right, nice, nice, okay. Just got a couple of little mishaps there, but no big deal. It looks a lot worse than it is. This, this hollow ground is just so absolutely sharp that uh, it's crazy. All right, for that one, here's what we're going to do. We're going to break out the septic pencil, okay? I don't have to do this very often. Uh, those little ones, they're, they've already pretty much stopped. But now, we're going to just get the end of this wet, all right? Just like that. And we're good. All right. All good. So this stuff is uh, really useful. Everybody should probably have one just in case. Uh, no big deal though. No big deal. All right. So here we go. Let's get going again. Now, what we're going to do next is... We're going to do my jawline and my neck. And this is going, again, from the ears to the chin. And for me, that actually is going to be, excuse me, against the grain. All right. All right, look at that. Oh, nice. Nice lather, really good. Oh yeah, look at that, beautiful. Okay, now what we're gonna do, reach around. Nice. 
Okay, get her fingers wet. Get some of that alum. Okay, nice. Okay, half done. Yeah, good, good job. Again, this is a extra hollow. Right. And that thing is just like surgical. You know, I don't know if you can really hear it and everything and appreciate it, but oh my goodness, it does sing. Very nice. Just about there. Just about there. Okay, nice. Okay, let's clean it off and see how we did. Oh, wow. I'm telling you what, that is one sharp blade. That is incredible, just amazing. All right, now we'll put some aloe on. All right, good for the skin, so nice. Okay, and now we're going to finish this off with Thayer's and this is the Rose Petal Witch Hazel which is very woodsy outdoorsy and I 
think is going to be a really nice compliment. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Very nice. Yes, it is. That is good. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and throw some NVIDIA post shave balm. This is for sensitive skin. And it doesn't take a lot. I'll just get a little bit there. Hmm. Nice. Okay, there you go, guys. Another beautiful shave. All right, now, recap. We got my magnetic silver steel. Okay, fully warranted, extra hollow, just incredible extra hollow. Okay, and it is. Just amazing. So sharp, but it's beautiful. All right, we got stubble trouble yard work. Just like being outdoors, right after fresh cut grass, just incredible. And we topped it off with the Thayer's Rose Petal Witch Hazel. And then I finished with NVIDIA. All right, excellent shave, good stuff. Uh, Let's check this brush, see how I did. Oh, look at that, look at that. There's still, there is still quite a bit in there. Oh, look at the peaks on that, look at that. Okay, excellent, excellent soap. All right. Okay, Adam, you definitely got another winner in my books, all right? Okay, hey, thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end. I really appreciate it and all you do for me. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends, and have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.